And do you ever think that coconut milk can be produced in Ghana? Well, today I'm taking you on a journey speaking to a young entrepreneur, Ni Kwansa, in Bechile, where he's producing coconut milk. Not just coconut milk, but in all forms, in cream, in chips, and in oil. Hi. From studying aerospace at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to working with a reputable energy company for five years, Ni decided to leave all that behind to focus on his dreams. I had the idea back in school, that was I think 2017, um, with regards to like coconut based products. So I began researching and I started doing experiments for like that whole 2017. So for the whole one year, I was experimenting, trying out new products. And then in 2018, we came out with the coconut milk and we realized that there's actually a need on the market for lactose intolerant people and people who want, actually want healthy lifestyle, healthy meals. So it was something I was doing on the side, actually. So I was working at the airport with Puma Energy. Um, I worked with them for about five years. So I was still following the aerospace like dream yeah. until after five years I realized that no I, I, I actually loved this one. I think two or three days ago was exactly one year since I quit and I have no regrets actually. But exactly how does he go about his coconut production? We get this from the western region and they bring it in bulk so yes so, so this is the coconuts that we use the dry ones. So when peeled it becomes white like this yes and then it's, it's cut into smaller chunks like this Yeah, okay. so when we are doing it, we actually time it, we sieve it twice, so we actually get it fine and smooth. This can actually be converted to coconut flour. Okay. Yeah, it can actually be converted to um, desiccated coconut. It's sprinkled on cakes, and okay. so the bakery guys use it. don't add any preservatives or additives so it's just the raw milk process like fresh milk the shelf life for our production uh, or our milk is one month unopened okay. and it has to be in the fridge all the time because it's fresh milk and then once opened it's seven days you can drink this just like that or you can use it as like for your diary alternative okay. if you're making you're cooking rice okay. yeah so you replace the water with the milk Okay. and it gives you coconut rice. We, we even have um, some of the chips in the dehydrator at the moment. Um, it's ready, so we'll be packaging it. Ni has successfully employed 10 people and is looking forward to create more jobs as he has the dream of expanding his business. I read biochemistry at KNUSC and I've been working here for over a year and a half now. And working here has been interesting, it's been impactful. It's been fun. Everyone knows how hard it is to get a job after service. So I was just sitting at home and then I saw the adverts for a production assistant, Cedar Coco, and I decided to throw my application in. And I got a call from me saying that um, he has selected me and I could come and start. So after spending my day here with me at his home factory, I must say that I am impressed with the work that they've put together. He's looking at taking advantage and getting his products outside the country, taking advantage of the African continental free trade area. But he's also calling for policies that is going to support young entrepreneurs to make them remain in this country. Reporting for TV3 News, my name is Della Michelle from Bichili. Mm -hmm.